Okay, so this is a garage uh, shaft, the garage door shaft that's broken. And we tried to purchase this shaft. It's 17 foot shaft. It's very, very uh, long. So it was really easy to find one a replacement in the local area. So we decided, I decided to uh, weld it. So I want to show you how I did that. Okay, first of all, let me show you what the garage door looks like. So this was the garage door. Uh, this was the shaft up here. Oh, I'm sorry, I can, I can. So that's the shaft. This is the coil that's broken. I'm not talking about the coil. I'm talking about the shaft, this metal here. It was broken right in the middle right here. Okay. So this is before it was broken. And when I was trying to change the coil, it snapped right here. That's because when the garage door opens and closes and opens and closes and opens and closes, this metal in the middle starts to cut through. And so it made it thin at the time and then it broke it. So another thing I want you to, to say is that this coil on the center part right here is much wider than just one inch uh, although the pipe is one inch wide this is a little bit wider so there is some room to make it wider so the idea is to to get so i took it to uh, local so this is what i did i bought uh, this pipe this is a pipe connector a pipe connector I bought it from a local uh, store uh, you know Lowe's um, hardware store Lowe's or um, um, Home Depot has it it's one inch they sell it as one inch the nice thing about it is just the inside diameter is exactly one inch so it fits exactly in so the idea is to push this in here and then weld the two like so after we weld the two and sand it then push this over to the other side halfway and then weld the two ends all right so that's what we wanted to do I took it to a guy um, who is a handy guy and I paid him to do that so so this is what it looks like after it got welded and um, once again the inside of the coil is a little bit wider than one inch so uh, there is enough room so I, I thought I would sand this and clean it up and put it on uh, the garage door and it worked perfectly it really worked perfectly so this is just how you can weld um, garage door shaft if it's broken. Once you weld this, then you can put in the coils from each end. And one thing I want to say is uh, when you're putting it back, when you're putting it back, remember to put the side that was on the left of the garage, put it on the left. The side that was on the right of the garage, put it on the right so that this sits in the middle um, otherwise the, the garage door um, as you can see here the garage door the left side of the garage door is not exactly so this is not exact exactly in the middle of the garage so it's just a little bit off to the left so unless uh, because that's a little bit on the left you're gonna have to make sure that what was on this side on the left side stays on the left side what was on the right side stays on the right side. I made the mistake of just putting it randomly and it was on the other side. And so when I tried to put this in the middle, um, it wasn't really, one side was not long enough and it was missing the edge. And so just make sure that you put the left on the left, the right on the right after you get it welded. I hope this helps. Um, thank you for watching the video.